topic for today is all about multiplication and division of fractions. So we have here our two objectives. First is to multiply fractions and to divide fractions. Let's start off with multiplying fractions. So we have here the basic rule whenever we multiply fractions together. So if we have A over B being multiplied to C over D, the product is A times C all over B times D. As you can see here, we just multiply the numerators and the denominators. And for you to visualize how it is being done, when we multiply two fractions, we have here a model. For example, two-thirds times three-fourths. To illustrate a two-thirds class, if this is our one whole, it's being divided into three parts. That, that is our denominator. And the one being shaded is our numerator, which is two. Same way with the second factor, three-fourths. And to get its product, we just need to combine the two fractions. And when we combine two-thirds and three-fourths, the parts is already 12. Okay? And as you can see here, our numerator, which is 6, is where two-thirds and three-fourths overlap with each other. So that is our uh, dark blue shaded region. Okay? So that is for our multiplying fraction. That's why we came up with the rule that we just need to multiply the numerators and the denominators. As you can see here, it's not yet in its lowest term. So the lowest term of 6 over 12 is just 1 half. Okay? So let's have now the following examples. Negative 1 third times 3 fourths. So, following the rule, multiplying the numerators, that would be negative 1 times 3, that is negative 3. And 3 times 4, the product is 12. Therefore, it's negative 3 over 12 or negative 1 fourth. Another, negative 1 and 3 fourths times 3 halves. As you can see here, we have a mixed number. And... We cannot multiply a mixed number by a fraction. Therefore, we have to convert this mixed number first into an improper fraction. And to do that class, we need to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So it's 4 times 1. The product is 4. And then we have to add the product to the numerator. So that's 4 plus 3 the answer is 7 over 4. And just copy the other factor. Now, since it's not a mixed number, it's just a combination of two improper fractions, we can now multiply these two improper fractions. So 7 times 3 is 21, and 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, the product is 21 over 8, or 2 and 5 eighths when we convert this to mixed number. But as for the final answer, it can be this improper fraction, 21 over 8. So let's now move on to dividing fractions. Before we divide fractions class, let us have a quick recap on the parts of division. So the first fraction is what we call the dividend. And the second one, which is being divided from our dividend, is what we call the divisor. And the answer to our division is what we call the quotient. Alright, so here is the rule, or here are the following rules to remember in dividing fraction. So if we have an example A over B being divided by C over D, as you can see here, we just keep or we just kept here the dividend A over B. We just need to copy it. And then replace division symbol with multiplication. And since we replace it by its opposite, we also need to get the 
inverse or what we call the reciprocal of the divisor. So here, C over D, getting its reciprocal or inverse, just interchange their position. So from C over D, it becomes D over C. Okay? And then follow the rule in multiplying fraction. So that would be A times D all over B times D. A B times C rather. So we have here more examples on what the reciprocal means. Okay, so we have three fourths. The reciprocal of that is four thirds, and seven fifths. It's five over seven and one half. The reciprocal is two over one. Okay. Again, when we say reciprocal, it's just the inverse of the fraction, and to do that or to get as a reciprocal, we just need to interchange their positions. We can also Make use of this rule. KCF or keep, change, flip. Again, keep the dividend, change the division to multiplication, and then flip it or get the inverse that's 7 over 2. Okay? So multiplying these two fractions, the product is 21 over 8. So this one is the last example for dividing fractions. 1 and 2 over 5, again, same way with multiplying fractions, we cannot divide immediately unless they are proper or improper fraction with no whole number. So we need to convert this first to improper fraction. So this is equivalent to 7 over 5 because 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2, that is 7. And then copy the denominator, which is 5. Changing division to multiplication, that is uh, changing division to multiplication, okay? And we have here negative 3. As you can see, it's a whole number. And remember that a whole number has always a denominator of 1. So that would be divided by negative 3 over 1. And then, follow the rules in dividing fractions. So, that would be 7 over 5 times the reciprocal of this, negative 1 thirds. Okay, as you can see here, I simply remove the division symbol because it indicates that if we have here two grouping symbols being combined or beside each other, it means that the operation is multiplication. Okay? So 7 over 5 times negative 1 third, the product is negative 7 over 15. That's it for multiplying and dividing fractions. For your assignment, perform the indicated operation and reduce your answers to lowest term. Kindly answer these five items. Thank you.